I look crazy, y'all, but I haven't, I'm vlogging. Oh, I haven't yeah. vlogged in a hot minute. I didn't really do anything this weekend, y'all, but I do want to show y'all the mask that I'm using. So I ordered this mask from, um, from Google, but I got it from TikTok. So it's called the Slow Brew Botanical Face Mask. There we go. Okay, so it's this mask and it's a yuzu clay mask. And then I also got these cleaning towels to go with it. Dang, my camera's bright. But I'm trying it on today. This is my second time trying it. Um, and I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes, but it's supposed to be like a brightening face mask. But we will see. I will update you guys once I finish because I have three of them. And then I worked out today. I had a good workout. Um, but I got these um, items from Pretty Little Thing. If you guys see my last video, I actually sent um, this set back. It was in like a peachy coral color. But when i got it it was actually like a neon so i got it in black and honestly you just can't go wrong with black and then i also got the shirt in pink and i have been trying to find something this color for a hot minute like i want the azalea um telfer bag in this color and i think it'll pair perfectly with like some straight leg jeans and some heels so I'm going to try these on to make sure I can fit them, but I'm pretty sure I will. But this is kind of the style that I've been into, kind of like loungewear, but dressy. Okay, so I washed the clay mask off. off. <laughs> One thing I will say about it is that it does make my skin like super soft, like baby soft. Um, and as you can see, I have a couple of, not a couple, a lot of acne scarring. Um, that occurred like over the past year. I never really had really bad acne um, But my acne scars are really bad to me personally So I will update you guys in like a week once I finish using it and then I do recommend these towels um, My friend said that you can also find some on Amazon But I do recommend them because I heard they're better than like using a normal face towel because your face towel carries like bacteria and stuff like that so i heard those are better so i will put the link to both of those in the description So what I'm about to do right now is put these warning labels on the candle jars at the bottom, that little circle right there. And then me and Saucer are prepping for our vendor event tomorrow. So I have some boxes and tape. Um, and these are all of the candles that I am bringing to the event. So I need to get them into the boxes, label them and get the warning labels on and then I probably will batch create some more candles. Back, it's 
started, tell you where I started I don't know who love me, but I know that it ain't everybody I can never love her, she a busybody Baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it Yeah, mama used to be on disability But gave me this ability And now she walking with her head high And I'm back straight I don't think you're feeling me I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be a couldn't be I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be I said, see you at the top and they misunderstood me I hold no resentment in my heart That's that maturity And we don't keep it on us anymore It's with Okay, so the next thing I'm getting ready to do is ooh, get a focus is trim my wig. As you can see, I use wooden wigs and this is absolutely too long. So I like to take a ruler and measure to one, well, a fourth. Um, what do I do? Interest? I think I do interest. I'm going to measure to a fourth and then this is my wig trimmer and then this is actually a nail clipper, but it helps because it's like straight. So like this one, when you are trying to cut it sometimes, like you, it cuts at an angle basically. So I like to take this to get it straight, which is the nail clipper. So I'm gonna show you guys how I trim my wooden wicks. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me if I ever heard one. Busybody, baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody. Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it. Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it. Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability, and now she walking with her head high. Okay, my love, so as you can see, I am pretty much done. All I have to do is smooth the tops because if you can see like right there when it dries, I don't know why it does that. So I just have to re-smooth the tops, trim the wicks, and then these are my labels that I have. I'm getting ready to put these on them and prep for our vendor event. This is the bag that I have all of my candles in and I put them in boxes and then I just label the top of the box so I know which ones I'm giving out. And I have, I think, about 21 candles in here. Straight, I don't think you're feeling me. I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be. I said, see you at the top and they misunderstood me. I hold no resentment in my heart. That's that maturity. And we don't keep it on us anymore. It's with security. I'm outside. 
I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. One thing to note is that when it is drying, sometimes the wick will actually move. So what I like to do is I literally just push it back and forth. So like it was like that and I just move it. <laughs> 